Hi, I'm Barbara Leib with Century 21 Affiliated. Based in the Appleton, Wisconsin area, I sell homes in five counties, and also I've added myself to the Greater North Woods. So if you're looking to buy or sell a home, condo, vacation property, hunting land, I can help you with that. I have maximum exposure for your listing, and we could get the job done by either buying or selling your property. Today, I want to talk about getting your boat ready for summer. Now, of course, in Wisconsin, a lot of us um, have vacation homes, or our big thing is we love to camp, and we might have RVs that we travel around, but many of us also have boats. And we always have to make our boat ready for the summer season. So before you set off on the lake, river, and some of you maybe an ocean this season, it's crucial to make sure your boat is ready for summertime. First off, do you have boat insurance? Make sure you check on that. Make sure your boat is registered and that registration is current and you have that validation decal affixed to the side of your boat. Make sure your boating license is tucked away in the boat, in a safe place or in your wallet. And you wanna dust off your boat manual and review the material in it. Of course, then wash your boat inside and outside, get your boat motor running, Check for chewed wires from rodents. Inspect belts, hoses, wiring to make sure there's no corrosion, cracking, or leakage. Tighten hose clamps and fittings if it's necessary. Look over the wires, clean or change the terminals, and apply a spray corrosion inhibitor to lessen damage during the boating season. And inspect and replace, if necessary, your spark plugs. Lubricate moving parts, check cooling water impellers and replace if necessary. Change or flush your boat fluids, test your electrical system, boost your batteries, and make sure your trailer is in good working condition. Make sure those lights work. Refresh your knowledge on safe boating rules and regulations. Make sure your boat is well equipped, such as having a fire extinguisher, personal flotation devices, one for each person on board, a loud bell or a whistle in case you get stuck out on the water, and visual distress signals. Blow your boat horn a couple of times to make sure it works. And inspect your anchor line to make sure it's not frayed and close to breaking. How many times have people thrown their anchor overboard and lost their anchor. We don't want that to happen to you. So here are a few tips. I hope this is helpful. Enjoy your boating season and thank you for watching. This is Barbara Labe with Century 21 Affiliated.